Hello everyone, in this tutorial, I am going to show you three ways to delete database from PHM admin. So here just go to your PHM admin and then you will see an option called SQL. So here just click on SQL and you need to mention which database you need to drop. So here you need to say drop database and then you need to mention the database name. Let's say I want to delete the database called ABCD on. So I need to say here A, B, C, D on exactly and indeed with a semicolon. And here you will see this check option enable foreign key check. If you want, you can uh, enable or disable this. So I'll just keep it, then click on go. And there you can see that database is removed or delete from here. There you can see. So right now, let's say I want to delete this database A, B, C, D two, And I'm going to show you another way. So this time I'm going to click on databases. And then here uh, we need to find the database that we want to delete. So I want to delete this database. So I will just select here and click on drop. Then click here drop. And there you can see on database has been successfully dropped. So right now let me show you one more way to delete the database from PSM admin. So for it you need to go to where you have installed your XAM. So for my case it's local link C. Then I will go inside the XAM folder. Inside XAM, here you can see MySQL folder, and inside MySQL, here you can see we have the data folder. So, in the data folder, you need to find the name called ABCD3 since we want to read this, and which is this one here you can see ABCD3. So, right now we just click to select it, right click here, then click on this delete button, and that folder is deleted. So, right now, if I just refresh in my TC my admin, there you can see ABCD three databases deleted from here. So those are the three ways to delete database from BSMI admin. I hope this was useful. If you have any question or suggestion, just let me know in the comment section. 